Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at how to use binding in a list view adapter. So basically, I have here an example application. It's one fragment. Inside the fragment, you get a list of the list of, of apps. It's a list. And basically, this is the list view. And we keep on using find view by ID, which is which is okay for the time being. Well, let's see how we can change it inside the adapter. And then you have an adapter that we extended. We have our own list item and basically this is the app list item it looks as three text views right here they are and basically you see on the right here one two three text text views and basically what we do this is the boilerplate code you have a convert view just coming in from the pool check to see if it's equal to null if it's equal to null then we inflate that's where we will use the uh the binding but the question is that after you use the binding the problem is that you return a view and then when you when it comes back again, you will get the same view. If it's not null, then you have to figure out how to get the binding. And we will do it. It's very straightforward. And because we're not using binding here, you see we have to do find by view by ID like this. Now, in order to get the binding uh, activated, we will just let's say the layout is called app list item. So it's going to be app list item binding binding. Again, before I do all of this, I have to make sure that the binding is enabled. So if you get look at the module, you have to make sure that the build features view binding is set to true. So here is my binding. So I'll, I'm not going to call it, let's call it M binding. Okay. Binding. All right. Equals app list item dot inflate. All right. Here it is. Get inflator comma. And then it needs the parent comma false and I have the binding already inflated now the interesting thing is that the convert view now is going to be equal to the binding dot get root right that's the that's the actual view right but I don't want to use find view by ID so that's the main goal of having a binding right so what I would like to do is store the binding inside the view so in order to do that I'll say convert view dot set tag and I'm going to put the binding inside the view. If I'm going to do this, I would like to use it here. So basically what I'm going to do is this. Is uh, we define this variable outside the if statement. Here it is. And then basically we initialize it here like this. So now if it's equal to null, we're going to do this. Else, if it's not equal to null, this means that it's stored in the tag. So basically we'll do, we'll come in like this and say, for example, convert view dot get tag. And we need to cast it to, it's not happy because we need to cast it to a uh, the binding class. Here we are. So we have the binding. So after all this is said and done, we start off with binding as null. If the convert view is equal to null, then we inflate. We use uh, this approach to inflate the binding. And then basically uh, convert view dot uh, becomes the binding root, uh, uh, root view. And then convert inside that convert view, we store the tag as a tag which is you can store an object inside the layout, right? And then basically here, that's the case when convert view is not null, then convert view is coming in and basically it has the binding uh, installed uh, or stored in it. Now, instead of doing all this find view by ID and all that stuff, we don't need all of this, right? And then basically to, in order to do this, we do binding dot and so on. So basically here is the binding, here is one, here is two, here is three and uh, notice that I called it M binding to avoid confusion with the binding for the fragment itself because the fra fragment binding it's called binding so that's why I call this one uh, you see here there was a problem here this needs to be M binding you see so this is M binding M binding M binding everything here is M binding which is the binding associated with this specific layout right not the binding for the fragment so basically now this makes it much much easier the only trick is to store it as a tag so basically store it as a tag and then retrieve it whenever you come back with a comma view that's not null so let's run this and the app will look exactly the same here we are and it looks exactly the same and it works it's exactly the same so yeah so that shows you how to use binding inside the adapter all right please let me know if you have any questions